object container streaming really improve the quality of life uh, in Star Citizen? This is the Eradicator and uh, we're having another video today about Star Citizen. So what I want to do, uh, you've seen my game uh, running pretty smoothly, what I want to do is I want to see if object container streaming is going to allow me to enhance the graphics. I've been playing for ever in medium uh, with medium graphics I want to see what happens if I play in high new options uh, yes let's return to the game so now we are in high let's see how the graphics are frames are a little bit more uh, jumpy but it seems to be it seems to be, it still seems to be playable it is looking better for sure this is my computer is handling it. All right, so we're gonna head to uh, one of our new destinations. So let's take a um, a. Come on, I don't have my. Uh, I should have my uh, cutlass. Well, this is not working. Okay. Okay, uh, that's interesting. None of the terminals are working. No. And no. Okay, well, we're going to uh, exit to menu and we'll get back into the into the It's actually not the first time it happens to me, uh, interestingly. So let's try again. Let's go back to the standing system and visit location. It's actually the second time the uh, the consoles decided not to work. It's one of these little buttons. Uh, it's pretty good, pretty good. I'm quite happy with it. So we're back here. So again, we are playing now. This time we're playing in high. This is the first time in years I'm playing in high. So it doesn't seem to be, uh, you know, to it doesn't seem to be a slideshow. I'm not daring putting it into very high. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm not daring doing it. So what I want, I want my cutlass. Yes. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. Thank you. Uh, and where is that? A2. Okay. Now, I'm going to buy some goodies here. Okay, let's buy. And why is my cutlass not here? Interesting. Well, I'm not going to get my cutlass then. Uh, for some reason I can't use my cutlass, so I'm going to use my constellation. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. Thank you. A ten, of course ten. I've been uh, going to ten so often that I know <laughs> I know exactly where it is now. I don't even need to look at the signs. So we're going to use the Aquila here by everything we can. Forty eight SCUs of medical supplies. Right. Now, as I'm recording this video, 3.3.5 uh, is in the PDU, and people have been, you know, saying, uh, following the past video, you guys have been telling me, uh, Rad, uh, you know, this is crazy, uh, you're going to lose everything one day. Well, this is testing, I don't really care if I lose everything, to be honest. And uh, if I lose everything, now I've got an option. You know, I can always uh, load the PDU, download the PDU, and join the PDU, and uh, test first then. So, well, uh, no big deal. If I keep on going, then uh, eventually I'll purchase the, the Prospector before 3.3.5 goes live, which is my objective. And if I'm unlucky and I lose everything, then I'll just go to 3.3.5 PDU. Awesome. Yeah, the lightning is better, for sure. 
gosh, I... When I was playing in high, I was trying to play in high before uh, OCS, uh, would have taken me forever to sit uh, in that position. That's that's just what a difference maker OC, OCS is. Now we're going to go to the truck stop. All right, and let's go flight ready. Welcome to Robert Space Industries. Enjoy the ride. System check. Now it's one thing to fly a medium-sized ship. In oh, it's really it's actually uh that's so much better than the medium. see uh, how it looks like from outside that lightning my gosh I know it's people would say it's a tech demo that's actually true and this is not something you'd see anywhere else in any other game but boy this is so beautiful and because it's beautiful it's really enjoyable Spool. We can get there as soon as a hundred percent. All right, spool complete. Let's go. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to try also uh, playing high settings is because when I get to the truck stop, uh, I have a big issue. Um, I cannot see the truck stop. It's a bit too far and too small. And it just blends in so well with the uh, surrounding asteroids, I, I'm getting lost. So I'm wondering if I would have a better look at it in high, um, in high settings and if it, it would be easier to see it from afar. So that's also what I want to test here. Uh, my ship is a little bit... Uh, I don't know if this is done on purpose or if this is clipping, but that's interesting. How the the frame of the canopy looks, um, how it moves. Pretty interesting. All right, here we are. I think I can see it. Yes, I can see it. That is a difference. There it is, just in front of me. When I was playing in medium, I could not see it until I was about, you know, 10 kilometers of distance. That is a huge difference. And look at that, it's right here. Great, that's, that's, so, that's really cool. Again, amazing job CAG for pulling this off. I'm so glad. Let's go to the comms. It's bugged, so it should not be working. Oh my gosh, there, that's the first time there's actually a pad available for me. Every time I get here, the pads are always full and I have to, you know, do a savage landing. And fortunately, Fortunately, this is not a we're not in monitored space, so I can still do a savage landing and without getting a crime stat. Uh, but well, I'm hoping this is going to be so much better um, if I'm given an actual landing pad. I think I have to turn around, maybe. I have no idea. No. This is only the third time I'm getting here. All right, here we are.
Yeah, the frames are of course not as great uh, as I'm getting a bit closer, but that's okay. I mean, still, I'm used to playing with, uh, you know, I'm not a, oh, it's not a 60 FPS uh, kind of guy. I'm used to playing uh, with low, low frames. That's really okay. Uh, the left. No. It will be fine. Now. I guess. So let's do engine. No, 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 no. Engine off. And let's get out of here. I just hope that the elevator is not going to take me to the middle of nowhere. Oh. oh, well that's a perfect landing, look at that. Let's put that up to make sure nobody steals my ship. Yeah, baby, this looks so much better. R and R, rest and relax. CIG, I am blown away. That is amazing. Well, I'm glad to know I can play in high mode then. I wonder if I can play in ultra. I'm not going to push it. Come on, elevator. I don't have all day. Here it is. And let's go to the lobby. Well, that's a bit, uh, how to say, um, it's a bit worrisome because you can't hear the elevator, so you don't know if it's really working or not. Good. Alright, let's go to the Sometimes you can see so, some clipping, that's normal, that's OCS. Uh, OCS is working faster and faster, that's really good. So let's sell everything. Here comes the money! There we go. Let's go from. <laughs> Not a success. Huh? Someone annoying me? No. Okay, so. I'm sure I'm not the only guy to, who sells medical supplies. So, we'll do uh, whatever we can. Maybe I'll go to sell that. Oof. Definitely not the only one to sell medical supplies. Anyway guys, that's gonna be all for today. Uh, I wanted to show you, uh, I wanted to go back to uh, Port Olisar with, uh, with actually a Starfare full of scrap. That's going to be for another day, obviously. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. This video was meant to show you that, you know, you can... I mean, you can raise the, the level of details of, uh, of your graphics with absolutely no fears. And, you know, it's just going to work just fine. So, good job, CIG. OCS is awesome. I'll see you guys next time.